Dear Twin Flame souls out there, welcome to the Twin Flame Awakening Journey podcast and today is an episode number 63. In today's episode, I'm going to bring you some examples of what your runner feels during the separation and why do they do the things the way they do it. Why do they go and jump into a relationship with somebody else? Why they don't message you why they don't come back to you and do they feel love towards you or what do they feel overall i'm just going to say that twin flame journey is more complex than just a two people falling in love with each other journey it involves the universe it involves the higher becoming your higher self and the higher power And so it's just not one layer story that which is a human element, which is the mind. There is so much more on this journey and I'm trying to bring in as many as examples and information that I know until today. But I'm also going to say that every twin flame journey is different and it's unique. It's not exactly as black and white as we think of and that's why I don't believe in a one method only that will bring your twin flame back to your life or will make your twin flame love story journey exactly as it is going to be. As I've heard so many stories until today and I want to say a huge thank you for those who have booked the call session with me. It means a lot to me and I'm glad to hear that it has given you some relief and also you feel the shift. So thank you for doing it because you're trusting a complete somehow stranger to tell your story. But in that sense, I'm not a stranger. I've been on this journey. I still am. And I, I just know exactly what you feel. And sometimes we just need to share it. Sometimes we just need to get an understanding what to do next or confirmation that My soul already knows that. I just need to follow my soul. And I've spoken a lot about what the twin flame runner feels during the separation. But today I'm going to make a little different episode just because I'm going to bring in different example. In our last uh, twin flame uh, group session, there was a woman who jumped on the call and she said, uh, she always hear from the perspective of the divine feminine, but not so much of divine masculine who is running and she would like to bring in her own own perspective one of the thing was that uh, she shared her experience how she somehow wants to run away wants to stay away doesn't want to hear as much about her twin uh, her twin flame meanwhile she can't stop this connection and why i'm saying it is that sometimes uh, when we come to this journey and I'm going to bring different example, uh, examples because the answers you have, what your twin flame is feeling during the separations are inside of you. Everything is inside of you. Your soul knows everything. If you just would go within, do the meditation, connect with your higher self and just listen what your higher self is starting to tell you, you have all the answers. You will feel their pain, you will feel their happiness, you will feel their fears, you will feel the blocks that are holding them back. So it's all about going within. You can try the channeling session that I have up on Patreon. This week I'm recording another longer channeling plus another uh, another communication with your twin flame. Uh, so you can obviously get them on my Patreon. So she said that she feels a strong pull towards her twin flame, even though she doesn't want to be with her twin flame at this moment, because she has never felt that she could love men in her life. And she had a bit of anger towards the men and everything. And obviously I would like her to come maybe talk one day or if she's going to come back to our Patreon group sessions, the next one is happening on this Sunday. I have some few questions. But when she was saying it, I could really feel why she doesn't want this to happen in a sense of 3D is because of her own 
ego mind that has built up no i don't love men no i don't want to be close to men no i don't want this and that and now it is happening there and that brings us to the core number one is when we first meet our twin flame and i'm talking of the real twin flame the twin flame that is the real one not in a karmic not the soulmate not in the sense of false twin flame although i'm not I'm not big fans of all of these labels, but I'm just trying to tell you, if you're really on a twin flame journey, you're meeting your true twin flame, then your twin flame first feels this electricity, this pull towards, it feels this connection. This is number one thing. And I'm talking of the true twin flames. You will feel something you've never felt in your life before that you cannot really explain. And on that moment, you lose the control. You lose the control of your ego that you cannot no longer hide behind your ego to pretend to be somebody else or put a show up that you like you were used to. You all of a sudden feel weak. You feel so weak, like your body has no control over you. You are just thinking what just happened to me why am i feeling so strongly towards this person and even if you didn't want to i am one of them who did not want to feel this what i felt towards my twin flame i i am married i have a beautiful life there was nothing i was seeking for or looking for Until on that day when I met my twin flame and I felt something I have never ever felt in my life. And that now when I reflect back, I sometimes feel I was the runner also in certain ways and certain cases. So that's why I don't, again, don't really like the word of runner and chaser and all of that because it switches. It switches time to time. And... Me too. I was thinking like, okay, this is so strange, but I couldn't stop myself. At the same time, I knew that I don't want anything with this person. I mean, I don't even know this person. And I am very slow to let people to come to my circle. I'm very friendly. I'm very open. But in order to know the real part of me takes a long time. And this person, my twin flame, was able to rip off that mask within a two seconds that I lost complete control of myself. Like my mind could not control it. It was that powerful. And that was also scary. And I believe that was, not I believe, now I know it was very scary for my twin flame at the same time. So that's where the running comes in. We get so scared of the fact that we are no longer in control. Like the control is gone. But you're trying to put up this control. You're trying to solve things in an ego mind. That's why the nowadays we live in a society that operates in a mind but not on a soul. And that comes another thing in where, for example, if we are single and we come across with our twin flame, it is very intense. And there are two things why a twin flame runner can run. And it can be on three, four other things as well. You telling to me in the comments why your twin flame ran away or what he told you why he ran away is more than welcome because we are here collectively understanding this journey, how to lift our vibration and understand that today you're already in a union. You're today together. And separation is just an illusion. It's an illusion of the mind you are connected. You can try to do the channeling session on my Patreon. You can try to do any other telepathic communication which I have put out. And you'll get your answers. And I don't have to then... Uh, I mean, I don't have to prove you. So one of the things is that we live in a society of mind where we might be in our 20s or 30s and we think oh i can do better there must be something else so we constantly are seeking for something more or we're setting up some other mind things such as i need to do this i need to have my career over there i need to do this i don't have a time for that so we kind of pull away from it and think about it okay i'm not gonna i'm not gonna go into that because it is scary 
it rips off it ripped off your mask it it took you to the place where you've never been before in your life and obviously it's scary because you cannot put up the show no longer and when we are our most vulnerable we also want to run because being honest and being sincere and listening to our soul is not as easy as we think another option is when we have never felt that kind of love and all of a sudden it comes to our life and let's say your twin has been in an abusing relationship before or in a toxic marriage or whatever and then they feel this love they feel this love that heals them they feel the love that connects them they feel something they never felt before but it's also scary because your mind starts to trigger you when it's going to stop when you're going to get hurt it's going to hurt you badly you you're not going to feel happy and so you're going to distance yourself another reason of course is that as a twin flame journey you always have a separation this is how it's made to be that universe will make happen that will make it happen that there's going to be separation this is the ultimate somehow the call of universe to make sure okay you need to separate because i need you to go within and connect with your higher self and become your higher self now and it's not about what you need what you want and how you how uh, and how things should be in your life like the expectations because these three are from our mind i would recommend you to listen to the previous episode which i know was not a favorite in that sense that I mean, somehow difficult to listen when we are our ego, but it's important to understand that everything we need, everything we want, everything we expect are from our ego because our soul already knows and our soul knows the best that comes. And that's why you also know when you are on your twin flame journey, you just know that you're there. Of course, if you need confirmation, again, you can book the call with me if you wish. Uh, we're going to find out the energy number. We're going to find out how to connect with the universe and get your answers. But you have that inner knowing. I've heard another day there was a man who had done a couple of tarot readings. And the tarot readers were saying, no, it's your karmic. No, it's your this. No, it's your that. And he says, like, you know what? I just... I, I, my soul didn't believe it it wasn't my mind it was my soul who was saying that no it doesn't make sense it's not real that's why i say you have this inner knowing the more you go within more meditations breath work uh reiki i would say in breath work and reiki you're gonna see your twin if you also want to know if you are on this journey i had the both i had on my breath work and uh and also those who have done ayahuasca see their twin so it's all there because it's a con consciousness you are connected you are connected anyways moving on from here within a fact that when i actually wanted to bring another example about this inner knowing that you know you are on this journey Eckhart Tolle, the one who wrote the book about the power of now had uh, and again those who haven't read it links are in bio order yourself make yourself a gift it will change your life and this book has to be with you all the time i've read that book 25 times i don't know even more maybe it is a very powerful book and it gives you an overview and Eckhart Tolle wrote this through channeling pretty much which means he sat down and it was just bursting out of him the way i do my podcast actually that's why i jump from one place to another because i'm not preparing for it I'm just saying what my soul needs to say and I'm not about here how do I say um, popular contest or to make sure that I will say things that will um, will make you feel good or will make you feel like um, how do I say I'm not gonna lie I'm just gonna be very, very honest I'm just gonna say the things that are coming from my soul and Eckhart Tolle had the same, that he wrote that every universe revolves around, every galaxy revolves around the black hole. And the publisher of his said that, well, you can't really put that in your book because the science will come after you and say that this is not real and there's going to be an argument around it. Well, five years later or something like this, the science 
scientists came up with a new idea that every galaxy revolves around a black hole. There is a possibility. But he already knew it. Because this is exactly your inner knowing. This is exactly what your soul already knows. How you can connect with your soul? Meditation, of course. Channeling. You can try my channeling uh, on Patreon. You can do another exercise that is on my... Uh, some of the videos where I say to you, you have to speak to yourself out loud 30 minutes and see what comes out of it. So... That's why, in a sense of your twin flame is running away because of the fear and also part of that, that it's part of it. Then, the another thing is when you would ask me why my twin flame disappeared, no longer replies my messages, do not talk back to me, uh, feels like there is a not so much of a co co uh, communication, but jumped into another relationship like nothing ever happened. Or dates other women or men or tries to move on. And here is another thing that we often do when we are not in peace with ourselves, when we don't trust our soul. We constantly starting to look the validation from outside. So we are going to find, let's say, somebody to date with or we're going to settle for a relationship to forget you because they do feel you as the energy, they feel that voice inside of them that is constantly pulling them towards yours, but their mind is in that much of a control that, no, I'm now with this person, I must be happy, I must be feeling so good, because uh, it was, let's say, too complicated in the beginning in a certain ways, or there were some other fears that were coming up so strongly and they could feel that. Well, if you want to really know that if your twin flame really loves you, again, sit down, connect with your twin flame and write down everything that comes, everything. When you really connect with them, you will hear the truth. I did that and that's why I'm talking about it. When I was, uh, when I started to have this channeling coming through me and I was writing things down that I had no idea where they came from, but I just had to. And once I heard from my twin flame and I just, I was asking some questions and we were discussing, he told me pretty much this in black and white. And I said, I freaking knew it. I knew it all the time. It wasn't that you didn't love me, which is the biggest question we have, but your twin flame loves you. Do they consciously agree with everything? Like in a sense with their mind? I don't know, it depends on their ego but they do love you. And often they try to go into another relationship to make sure that, oh, you know, when their ego is there, oh, I'm not feeling this way. I am not going to uh, accept this and that because it's their ego that tries to protect them. Uh, and so that's why their spiritual awakening is a very important part of this journey as well. Even though you have gone through the spiritual awakening, you have lifted your vibration, you are vibrating in a higher frequency, your twin has to get to the same point because everything is frequency. In order to understand each other, you need to be on the same frequency. I'm just going to say that those of you who cannot re reach to the point where I am today, and that's why I want to just say that do not compare your journey with me. I have gone through hell i have gone through so much growth i have done so much work in a sense of realizing who i am as a soul and what i do that the way i see my journey today was not the way i saw my uh, the way i saw this journey before definitely not and i still believe that i have as a um consciousness as lifting my vibration a long way to go so again what i'm saying today doesn't mean that in the future i will exactly see it this way but it again it's good to see how we grow it's good to see how we see things and how we're going to change this world also collectively because love energy always wins 
so then or when we're wondering okay they run away they are with somebody else they seem so happy in that relationship i'm going to tell you a number one <laughs> little rule when there is a couple or a uh, uh, somebody constantly posting pictures of themselves on social media and trying to prove how much they love each other is again another proof that they're seeking a validation from outside they want that others would see how happy they are together meanwhile they're trying to make this thing work it's all about getting a validation from others instead of feeling happy inside of you and feeling that I am together with the best person in my world and I don't need to constantly prove that for the, in a social media. This is the problem of nowadays social media that we constantly seeking a validation from outside, not inside. Or also, we should be able to post what makes us already happy without seeking any likes, any validations and so on. Anyways, that's just one part of it which I just always say that when people tell me yes you know they're posting holiday pictures together they are this together they do this together and I'm like okay they can have a love of course but why so much why there's need for so much validation I remember even when I met my husband and I am a lot on social media uh, I met my husband and I said, we are not posting of our pictures for the next six months to anywhere. Because I just want to know that we are here. We are together here. And, uh, and yeah. So anyways, it's everyone's journey. But I'm just going to say that pay attention to these little things. Then there is another thing what happens while they run away as well is fear of what happens when you really actually come together and that has now many layers and i'm starting to from the lack and i'm starting with the lack um, this person who came to our group session as well she said very clearly that why this person is not leaving me alone like why i keep on hearing this voice why i keep on sensing it well that's why now many of you have asked that many many times of me oh when i connect with my twin flame they're gonna run away because they feel that intense connection and i should not connect with my twin flame and i should not think about my twin flame and i should not you know connect and i'm like well if you connect from the perspective of lack you pers you connect with your twin flame that i need you i want you i'll be happy with you uh, only when you come back then I will be happy only if you would do this then I'll be happy I need you I want you why did you run away from me can you imagine what your twin flame is constantly hearing I need you I want you I I want you all the time it's in a lack and if I would hear that which I have heard from my twin time to time is like why did you leave me why didn't you come back why you're not coming back and since i'm now aware of it that i can hear and i can sense it i obviously turn this around and i connect and i'm explaining why is it like this but my twin obviously had no idea so i literally i must have drove him nuts with these thoughts that's why they also run because they are like let me breathe let me just get this out of me because it's so intense and especially when there is a marriage involved or when there is another relationship involved i'm just going to bring in my me, me and my twin in a sense of i met my twin being married and happily married in the sense that i have never ever looked for any other man never in my lifetime I am very friendly, I have a lot of male friends and I am extremely friendly but I do not look anybody in my life with a sense of oh, wow this man could be better in my life or oh I'd be no because I, I have no need for that and then I came across with my twin flame and it was a funny thing I've heard from many of you some of you have said that I was afraid to tell my twin that I'm married or I was afraid to tell my twin that I am in a relationship for me it was very natural the moment I met I said I'm married 
Uh, I mean, I normally say that to everybody, whoever asks. But I said I'm married, and then when we met in real life, I had my kids' uh, uh, car seats in my car, and he said, oh, you have children? And I said, yeah. Like, I was really friendly in that sense. I said, yeah, of course I have children. Do you have children? And, like, zero expectations or zero understanding what's going to come next with me. And obviously, when, because we both respect marriage, we both respect, uh, how do I say, relationships and other people, like we don't have that. I heard another day, I had a cool woman on a call and she said like, if I hear that somebody's married there, I automatically, I'm not attracted to them whatsoever, like they're automatically ugly. <laughs> and I was like... Well, for me, it's pretty much the same, to be honest. Like, if I know that somebody is married, I would I'll be like, yeah, great, you know, all the best. You know, I'm very happy you have found the person. And so we both had that same thing. But then, obviously, that electricity, we could not deny. We could not deny. We know it's there. We were, like, it was the moment where we lost control. But also my twin, Neil, and myself, I knew I'm married. I had it, of course, I've spoken about this before. I was willing to leave everything behind because I could not understand what is happening to me. Although, once I did, and once I realized that, oh my God, a journey within, I'm already connected with my higher self, and I started working on my higher self, and I was guided to the places that opened up everything for me, that's where everything changed. But it was scary for my twin to think about it. Oh, she's married. She has two kids. Uh, but I have this intense connection towards her that I cannot deny. He's a young guy. He could have any young girl in his life. No need for somebody who is a little bit older. I know I get a lot of... A lot of critics about my five or six years difference. Uh, everybody's like, how about 30? How about 15? How about 25? Yeah, I know. It's just we were very different stages of our life. And that's why the age gap felt like a little lot the bigger. Because like I said, he was still a bachelor, having his life, living, doing whatever he wants. Meanwhile, I've been already over... 10 years relationship and many years married so and children and career and like everything so it just you know two different worlds come, came together that were not supposed to come together but they came together and and so that comes the fear that what if that's going to work out and also for men often uh, when they are on this journey and they feel because they feel really divinely about you but they also feel can I keep up with you? Can I provide you everything I I have? So that's where they start running because they feel like, oh, I need this. I need to be on this position in order to have and to your love. Because again, I'm going to say that our society has taught us to love by the mind, not by the soul and not connecting. We can see so many superficial relationships. We can see so many uh, agreements, relationship, r everything that are based on status, based on that you need to get somewhere, not based on your soul, not where you feel peace. It's just like you constantly need to prove that you are somewhere there. Although I'm just going to say that to st say that out to all the twin flames out there that when you choose to uh, follow your soul, no matter what you have today, you're going to do magic together. So, and then the next thing is also that when they run away, they feel that voice. They feel really that voice. That's why stop today scrolling and thinking, what are they doing? Do they love me? Do, are they connected with me? Do they feel this connection? Do they, mm, like constantly in this fear state where you feel like, I don't, I'm not sure if my twin flame loves me. No, my twin flame doesn't love me. It's like, I understand that fear. I really understand that fear. But I'm just going to tell you that you are so connected. And the more you're building up on that fear, you're more pushing somehow their 
them away because for them it's like let me also be in peace like there's they they feel like they cannot breathe again the reason why some of the twin flames start taking drugs drinking alcohol uh, partying either dating other women or even men or sleeping around or doing all of that because they're trying to get you out of their head but you are not going anywhere and when you're constantly there with the energy of lack then it's very very difficult for them to calm themselves down so instead if you want to connect with your twin flame connect in the state of love and union saying we are together I'm already connected with you I'm here do not worry and calm them down but of course you can only calm them down when you uh, when you have let go of any fear inside of you when you are connected to the source that you trust your soul and the only way of knowing your soul and trusting your soul is to do the work meditation breath work Reiki Ev all of this is extremely important uh, Kundalini awakening journaling uh, paying attention to the sign of the universe what is asked you to do and letting go of your mind and that's a very hard thing your twin flame you have all the answers what your twin flame is feeling I know that I know that 100% that you have all the answers in, inside of you but when you operate on a lack, when you operate in the fear, it's going to manifest on that fear because you are going to constantly go, oh, my twin flame doesn't love me. My twin flame is never coming back. Oh, I see my twin flame is happy over there. I've done over and over and over again this test where I say, okay, try to say that you are not on this journey. And I'm talking of those who are really on this journey. Say to yourself, no. I'm not on this journey. My twin flame doesn't love me. I had enough. Done. I'm not going to think about it. I'm going to just move on. I can guarantee you, you walk out of your house. Either you're going to run into your twin flame. Either you're going to hear from your twin flame. Either somebody's going to tell you their name. Or something else is going to come up that you are like, okay, all right. I get it. I can't get out of it. So when we talk about twin flame, your twin flame runners awakening, when it's going to happen and if you're going to feel it, yes, you're going to feel it. Uh, although I'm going to say something very important and I know nobody likes to hear that because when you are in a state that you want your twin flame, you need your twin flame, you don't like this. But once you have lifted your vibration, once you have become one with your soul, that you feel so confident, you kind of... I'm not saying that you don't want your twin flame because you always do. You feel that divine love within each other. You always will feel this divine love with each other. But it becomes no longer this mm, suffering, I would say, that you, you're waiting so long for your twin flame and then they come and they still don't understand that you are so connected. You're coming to the point where you feel like, Okay, I can be with you, I can be together with you, but I need you to understand of who I am. And come here, you will understand of who I am. And if they don't do the inner work, you will get bored. You will just feel like, okay, here we go again. Um, I have done so much work for both of my soulmate and uh, my twin flame. And sometimes it just feels like you're going around and around and around and they just don't get it I'm just gonna say it takes time but it's not our job to change their vibration to change their energy it all comes from there but the best you can do is to work on your own energy and become the higher self because from the moment you become your higher self you lose the need of being connected in the sense of that uh, you feel like, oh, I'm not connected to my twin flame. He, my twin flame is not here. My twin flame doesn't love me. You, you will forget about it. You will really feel that you are so connected. You feel already that, oh my God, it's already happening. My twin flame is here. It's guiding me to do this. It's guiding me to do that. 
And I just want to touch upon the fact that we are humans and it's normal for us to want to share our life with somebody else. It's very normal, especially when we have come across with our twin flame. We really feel that love towards our twin flame. We feel this divine connection. We feel it. It's so amazing. But it should come first from the moment that you feel, I am so happy of where I am today. I'm so happy I get to do of what I love. I'm so happy of being me and accepting myself as me as I am. Because this is the true essence of living, of you being you. And again, I'm going to say that the more of us, if more of us would follow of living your authentic self, the soul self, who is serving the world from the highest good, who realizes that there is enough for everybody in this world, we wouldn't, in the sense of having this sense of lack all the time, that we feel like our twin flame doesn't love us, which is not true. I can tell you 100% it's not true. Your twin flame loves you as deeply as you love your twin flame. And how do I know that? Well, first of all, I would recommend you to do this channeling session, uh, which is on Patreon, or you can book a one with me if you are really on this journey. Second of all, you already know that. You actually, deep down of you, you already know that. You can try the Patreon version. I will put the half an hour one, which is a deeper one where you get the answers. And then the love will come to your life as well. That's why many, sometimes twin flames do not end up together because the other one who you actually dearly love, but it's just not vibrating on the same frequency as you. But then you find somebody who will vibrate and it will work out. But will you get rid of each other? Well, unfortunately not, or fortunately. Twin flames, we will never get rid of each other. And even if you try to, like I say now, that you can hide under the bunker, you can, your twin flame or you can hide from the bunker, say, I don't want to see you, I don't want to hear you, and you can hide. And if the universe will make it happen, you will find the bunker, you will find this person, and it will happen. There is no other way. So in that sense, uh, I just want to give you the confirmation that your twin flame feels you. The way you feel your twin flame, it's not only one way. Now it just depends on how much they're paying attention to it. I remember when I first came to this journey, I didn't want to believe that I feel something I never felt before. Like, for example, these words that were starting to come out of me, out of nowhere. And I was writing them down like a psychopath. And now I can say, wow, it was my twin flames of uh, energy telling me that we are connected and there is so much love in between us. But it was also so scary at the same time because in a 3D life, in this where we were at this moment, we were never supposed to be together because of the life circumstances. And we have so many things that if we look at on paper, we should never be together. And, but at the same time, as a soul, we are the same energy. And once I connected in a loving way, in a way of peace, in a way of realizing I am connected and I'm not alone, the magic start to happen and that's the magic and why and that's made me to see this journey completely differently it was no longer about this physical relationship it was more about we have the love and now I have to spread the love I have to spread the love to my husband to my kids to the people around me to be here to help them because Otherwise, we will constantly seek for it, seek for that void. So just try it out uh, and uh, let me know because on to next episode, I'd like to talk about, uh, because I've spoken so much about uh, the communications through tele telepathy. 
And if you have a story where you tried some of my examples, which I have out there as an exercises, my channeling or whatever you tried, and you have a story of what happened after that, please send me an email, uh, twinflameawakeningjourney at gmail.com for the next episode, because I will read this uh, for everybody. I receive a lot of emails, but I'm not reading these, which are your personal. But if you have done any channeling with me or channeling by yourself through Patreon or uh, or you have done the te- communication through telep- telepathy, send me a little story what happened and how it happened just to give others an overview that it is real. It is not something I have made up in my head and I'm trying to now convince you for that. That's why I say once you become your higher self and you have a trust with your inner knowing, you know you are on this journey and there is the peace and there is the magic. And I am and why I'm talking about it so badly is because this peace is priceless. Even if they start coming in and out of your life, let's say you're going to be in a union and they still get scared or they still don't change themselves or they still do certain things that they are not yet there you always have that inner knowing okay they're here they're connected with me i am their love i am who i am and that is the magic i see this over and over again that's why i'm not a big fan of this uh how do i say uh these shortcuts or this like i don't know block them on social media and they're gonna come back to you or do the detox of them that you burn all the things and you don't think they are shortcuts because sooner or later you will find yourself in a situation with your twin where they want to run away where they want to separate from you or you feel you need space from them but when you have that inner knowing that oh i need space because I am already connected, I am already in a union, I am with this person, but I just need space. You'll be always in a harmonious, harmoniously together. As it's this knowing that you don't lose anything, it's already here, it's already happening, and you are living your life. That's what we're all going to learn on my retreat, of course, and thank you all of you. I think we are now I'm not going to say that we are fully booked. I think we are. But if you still have interest, write to me. I'll have a look. Twin Flame, first Twin Flame retreat will happen this year in March, which is so exciting. I really tried to get you where I am today because I know that this is priceless. And that's where it comes in that you're going to be forever thankful for your Twin Flame, that they came to your life, that they changed you not they changed you they actually helped you to become your higher self so and that's magical and then you're going to trust the divine timing you always have a trust in divine timing you don't constantly seek that is it going to happen tomorrow am i going to feel tomorrow you're constantly taking your phone in your hand because it comes from the fear and i have been on that fear i've been on this fear I know that fear very well. So that's why I'm that's why I'm not here to say to you that where I am today came to me overnight. And don't compare your journey with me mine because I definitely didn't come to this place with with an ease. It took me some time. But again I'm going to say once you're there you know that you are so connected with your twin flame and your twin flame guides you through the life. Although, when they go through their awakening, it is annoying and it's painful. Unfortunately, I'm going through a lot with my twin flame, especially with an anger. But it's part of the journey. It's part of the journey where he feels the anger and and I'm, I'm, I'm the person who is... It's very difficult to get me angry, very hard. And when I sense the anger, it's so exhausting to process this. But hopefully, at one day he releases it and he will see it differently anyways i'm gonna stop it for today and thank you for being here again we are going to have this sunday a group session on patreon uh 
Yeah, it's 12 o'clock New York time, 6 o'clock Paris, Central European time. It will last about two hours and you can ask, you can share something. We are going to talk about the new twin flame phenomenon that came out from the Kurt New World All Star. Uh, we are going to discuss about some other topics and for my next episode I am going to talk about signs and ways to communicate with the universe or what these signs are meaning when they're coming to your life and you're constantly seeing them and how to communicate with the universe plus the fact that if you have done any of these exercises or any of this what is out there send me your story twin flame awakening journey at gmail.com in order for me to show how it works that it's not only based on my uh, uh, example so if you have a moment hit me an email and so on and of course those who wish to ah i have a final 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 thing it's very funny uh since obviously you can only hear me and you cannot see me I keep on receiving of uh, emails that they did not expect me to be as I am. And so those of you who have not seen me yet, I know that on the retreat email you can see the picture of mine, but those who have not seen me yet, I just wonder how do you imagine me? How do you see me uh, like uh, in, a, in a 3D format apart from my soul? It's so interesting as I've noticed it more and more and more that people see it absolute opposite of who I am. And so if you have a moment, leave a comment or send me an email. What do you think? And of course, those who have calls with me, they already know how I look, but others who haven't and been listening some time. Anyways, I hope that this episode was a little bit helpful and you got some kind of an overview of why these things are happening and if you have any insights put them down in the comments because it helps others it helps your example of that journey always helps others because like i said it's not so black and white story so thank you for listening today and thank you for being here today and i hope to see you on here lots of love and light